Hey guys, this is the Amazon Wildman with the Jungle Explorer, and today we're going to cover how to make emergency survival food rations. So before we get into the actual recipe, we need to go ahead and gather all of the ingredients. Now there's two categories of ingredients that we have with this recipe. We have our dry ingredients and our wet ingredients. So first we're going to start with our dry ingredients, and that's the flours, the thing that makes up the bulk of these food ration bars. And then we're moving on to our wet ingredients, which is actually what kind of holds it together. It's the glue that makes it all stick together so you can form it into actual bars. So our dry ingredients are six cups of oat flour, two tablespoons of chia seeds, three tablespoons of almond flour, and six scoops of protein powder. Now our wet ingredients include one cup of honey, one cup of coconut oil, and 10 to 12 tablespoons of peanut butter. So first you wanna mix your wet ingredients together, put the honey, the coconut oil, and the peanut butter into a large glass bowl and start to mix it with a plastic spatula. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put this in the microwave for 25 seconds at a time and then pull it out and continue mixing it, repeat this process until you have a nice thick homogeneous liquid. Now you should have already mixed your dry ingredients together in a separate bowl, whisked it all together so it's nice and mixed up. And then when you're ready, you wanna start ladling the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients and then just begin to mix it until it becomes nice and consistent. Now, eventually the mixture is gonna get so thick that it's gonna be difficult to mix with the spatula or the spoon. So don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. Just make sure they're clean before you dig in. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna knead and fold this mixture until it becomes a nice, consistent, solid color, and then it's ready to go. Now, once you've incorporated all of your mix into this nice big lump of dough, it's ready to move on to the next part, which is forming it into the actual bars. So what I used is a muffin tin, just your standard aluminum muffin tin. You wanna grease those tins so that later on when the product's finished, it comes out easily and is not stuck in there. But then you're just gonna take a handful, maybe a large tablespoonful, and then you're gonna press it down into that mold. Now you wanna make sure you press it in nice and tight to get all the air bubbles out from around it. Maybe add a little bit more on, pack it down till it's just about level with the top of the mold. And then you're just going to repeat this process till you fill all of the molds. Now, as you can see, I ended up with a little bit extra. And what I did with that is just formed into a nice rectangular brick that I just processed separately. All right, guys, we're out here in our pavilion where we had to put the uh, survival ration bars out in our freezer. So we're going to go take a look. They've been sitting for well over 12 hours. The recipe calls for 12 hours. Uh, we just put them in overnight. So let's go take a look. Ah, there we go. Right there. So if you noticed in the video last night, I had three bars. Well, one of them I gave to my wife and kids, let them try it out, see if they enjoyed it. Um, so we're going to get on to the next part where what we're going to be doing is packaging them for storage. Now for the storage, as you can see, what I'm using here is a food saver that I got from Walmart. They run between $30 and $50 depending on the model you get, but they also come with the vacuum sealing bags. So you don't have to purchase those separately unless you want to do more. So first you want to cut a measure of bag off using the little provided cutter there on top and then you want to seal one end. Then you're going to place your product that you made inside the bag. I did six to a bag and then you want to turn it around and then you want to vacuum seal it. Now doesn't that seal up nice? Now that we've got that one done, it's time to move on to the rest. Now this recipe ended up making 12 ration pucks and three additional bars. All right, hey guys, we just finished packaging up 
our batch of oat ration bars. So this is one of the smaller ones. We have some bigger packages right here. Um, write a few things on when you're done. I wrote ration bars. I wrote oat underneath, so I know that it is oat ration bar. And then I wrote the month and the year 121 for January 2021. Now, it's important to know that the recipe you'll be following, the one that I followed, says that each of these pucks is 550 calories. In a survival situation, it pays to know what your energy expenditure is and how much you need to intake daily to survive or maintain. So do your research ahead of time along with preparing ahead of time. That way you're not caught not knowing how much energy you spend every day, not knowing how much you should be eating, overeating in a survival situation, and then running out of rations or food before uh, you can establish you know, whatever it is you need, whether that's growing food or hunting food or just finding supplies to continue going on. And uh, so I'm going to do a taste test right here on screen for you and show you how it cuts. Now, I will say that it's dense. When it's fr right out of the freezer, because this is not a baked recipe, it doesn't have the consistency of a shortbread cookie like some other recipes do. This one is a little bit more akin to a protein bar, very dense, kind of chewy. Uh, it's not super crumbly right now because it's still cold, but we pulled them out of the freezer about 30, 35 minutes ago, and it's easy enough to cut with a knife. Now, let's get right into this. See, it, it broke real easy. Pull it right apart. It's soft enough now, I can pull it apart. It's a little bit crumbly, but it's not falling because it's moist. It's not a dry ration bar. This is pleasantly moist because of the oils and the peanut butter, the, shook, the, the honey, and the coconut oil that I used. Now, one thing I'll say about this, I branched out from the recipe a little bit and then I didn't use whole oats. I don't like whole oats that crumble too easily in a survival situation. Every little bit counts. As you can see, I have a few crumbs here. If this was whole oats, it'd be falling apart. And that was one thing that the recipe said was that they're very crumbly. So I went ahead and put my oats in a blender and I turned it into oat flour. Now you can buy pre-made oat flour or you can just make it yourself in a blender with for a in a couple of minutes. And you don't have to pay the extra processing fee uh, of buying it pre-made. Uh, it was $2.79 at my local grocery store to buy one of the big buckets of oats. And it's 12 cups of oats. And this took six cups of oats. I condensed that and refined that down into a flour. And it compressed really easily into these little uh, muffin molds or cupcake molds in the pan. And it makes a great dense little bar easily. This, I mean, this is perfect. This right here is more than 550 calories because it's bigger than those pucks. I reckon just kind of eyeballing this is probably around 600 to 700 calories. But that can go in your backpack. And it'll be soft, so when you do open it up, eat it. It's going to be good. So all in all, I'm going to say that I really like this recipe. It's got a ton of protein, ton of fat, and a lot of sugar. So you've got calorie dense, nutrient dense, fat dense. That's what makes these ration bars important in a survival situation is they're easy, they're accessible, and if you have the mentality of survival, the mindset to prepare, it, it'd be good, it'd pay off to uh, spend a few dollars to go ahead and make these ahead of time, so that way you're not trying to make them under duress in a survival situation. So that's going to kind of wrap up the uh, the video. Uh, I am the Amazon Wildman working with the Jungle Explorer, signing out.